Writing style engaging hey there rock enthusiasts. Today I'm diving into the fascinating world of andesite, a rock that might not grab headlines but definitely deserves our attention. So what exactly is andesite and how is it formed? Let's break it down. First off, andesite is an intermediate volcanic rock. Intermediate here refers to its silica content, which is between that of basalt and rhyolite, other common volcanic rocks. This gray to black rock is not just any rock, it's a storyteller of volcanic activity. Andesite formation begins deep within the earth under subduction zones. These are places where tectonic plates collide and one plate slides beneath another. As the oceanic plate descends, it heats up and melts, giving rise to magma. But here's where it gets interesting. This magma, due to its intermediate composition, makes its way up but cools slightly slower than basalt. This slower cooling allows crystals to form, but not too big, which gives andesite its characteristic fine-grained texture. If we could speed up the process in a time lapse, you'd see these tiny crystals popping up as the magma ascends and cools. It's quite the geological ballet. Now, when this magma reaches the Earth's surface through volcanic activity, it solidifies into what we call andesite. Often this happens around the explosive, dramatic eruptions of stratovolcanoes. Think of the classic conical volcano shape that dominates landscapes and sometimes headlines. But why should we care about andesite? Well, its formation tells us a lot about the geological processes that shape our Earth. Studying andesite can help geologists predict volcanic eruptions and understand plate tectonics better. Plus, it's just plain cool to know about the rocks under our feet, right? So, next time you're out hiking and you come across a grayish rock with a fine grain texture, take a moment to appreciate it. You're not just looking at a piece of andesite, you're holding a piece of Earth's deep, dynamic history in your hands. How cool is that? That's it for today's Geology Deep Dive. If you love learning about the forces that shape our planet, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more rock-solid content. Until next time, keep rocking.